which was um, exotic dancer. I thought it's just a nightmare, and I was shocked. But when they actually took me into the strip drink, I realized that this is the reality. That was the very first strip drink I ever seen in my life. Unbeknownst to Eva, she was brought to Canada by her traffickers under the exotic dancer or stripper visa program. Under this program, thousands of women were brought to Canada legally, often ending up trapped by their employers. Canada is complicit in the trafficking of women by legalizing the stripper visa. So what have you just done for these third world women, these women from destitute countries? You've made them prisoners, but you've legalized their situation. So they're beaten up in these barns, they are forced to commit all kinds of sexual acts, and the Canadian government has sanctioned it by stamping a visa and saying, come to Canada to strip. Well, about the first week or two, I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there. So they were really mad at me. So one of the Hungarian guys came into my room and said that I'm no longer a princess and I better start to believe that this is the reality and I better start to uh, make myself worth the while. And they said that they know that I never done anything like this before, though, so they thought they might just help me by teaching me how to get comfortable with strangers. So uh, the next thing was that someone else walked into my room and got comfortable with me in the level, if you know what I mean. When guys just came in and taught me how to be a good girl, that actually took a place on this side. Yeah. <laughs> they could force you to have sex whoever they want. Over that, I had no power, and they did have power over me. I never thought that something like this could happen in Canada. These women are being trafficked to the West. Canada's probably 3,000, 5,000 a year. In the United States, they figure 20, 25,000 a year. But Europe is the major destination. Germany, upwards of 80,000, 40, 50,000. In the Netherlands, Spain, and Italy, and Turkey. All of these countries are getting trafficked women. Anywhere there's a horny guy, there are trafficked women. 